So let's try this as our last problem of the day. So we need to make a carbonate buffer of pH 10. Um, how many grams of sodium carbonate must we add to 1.5 liters of freshly prepared 0 0.20 molar sodium bicarb to make the buffer? The Ka of the bicarbonate ion is uh, 4.7 times 10 to the negative 11. Okay. So, how do we do these? Well, uh, first things first, we know, remember, whenever you have sodium ion, that just is a spectator, so we can kind of throw that out, okay? So first thing we have to do is write our buffer equation, okay? So let's write that. So hopefully you guys can write, you would have noticed, known to write this, I guess. Okay? Would you guys have known to write that? plus H2O, like that, back and forth. And then what is that going to do? So that's the acid. So we're going to have CO3, 2 minus there, plus H3O, plus aqueous, like that. Okay, so um, <clears throat> we also know that, um, well, the Ka equation, we can write that down. Ka equals CO3, 2 minus concentration, times H3O plus concentration, divided by the HCO3 minus concentration. So, um, the pH here, right, would give us the H3O plus concentration. We can get the H3O plus concentration from the pH. Is everybody okay with that? Okay, so let's do that. So the H3O plus concentration is going to equal 10 to the negative pH, like that. So. 10 to the negative 10.00, so 1.0 times 10 to the negative 10. It's going to be molar. It's going to be the hydronium ion concentration. So we need to figure out what is the constant, because we're looking for the mass of sodium carbonate. You guys know what sodium carbonate is, so I know it's not written up here. but. Um, it's this thing with two sodium ions. Okay. So Na2CO3. That's what we're eventually looking for, the mass of that stuff. Okay. So in order to eventually find the mass, we first need to find the concentration of it. Is everybody OK with thinking like that? So we're going to rearrange this equation. So we've got Ka, right? We've got sodium bicarb concentration. We've got H3O plus concentration. We're going to rearrange this equation to get the bicarb concentration. Okay. So. table here in my head, okay? So, bicarb, 0 0.20, right? The concentration didn't change. Why? Because the Ka is so small. Down here, H3O plus, 
the number of moles of CO3 2 minus would be 0 0.141 we'll keep that digit for right now moles of CO3 2 minus but that's moles of CO3 2 minus right we want grams of sodium bicarb okay so For this, right, do you remember this reaction equation? This helps. Like that, right? So, for every one mole of carbonate ions, right, we have one mole of sodium bicarb. Does everybody understand what I'm doing? like that. But that gives us moles of sodium bicarb. That's not what we want, right? We wanted grams of sodium bicarb. So on the bottom down here, one mole of sodium bicarb. Up here, grams of sodium bicarb. And that's going to come from, of course, the periodic table, right? And I did that earlier. It's 105.99. So that gives us, when we cancel, grams of sodium bicarbonate. Okay. So when we multiply through times one, I get 14.9, but we're only going to two sig figs. So one five grams sodium. Uh, Any questions on this one? Can I shut it off? Okay.